If you think box turtles are cute, go ahead and like this video and subscribe right now. So here are these guys side by side. They are just the cutest turtles. Look at that expression. What is going on everybody? Thank you for watching another Rose City Reptiles video. Today we're going to have a quick little update on some of the tortoises and turtles and see how they are doing. Let's jump into it. Here are our Chinese box turtles. We haven't seen them in a while. I'm giving them a little soak. Even though they have some water in their enclosure, I just like to soak them every once in a while and just so they can fully submerge and they seem to really enjoy it. Um, they seem to be growing well, lots of energy, still a ton of fun to watch. And just getting more and more beautiful. Look at these guys' colors. I really like them a lot. I've recently started feeding them something different. Um, I started, I introduced some cooked chicken in their diet, and then I just shred it up and put some vitamins and calcium on it. They are destroying it, they love it, so. It's something I've been giving them once a week or so, and they seem to be doing really well on it. So, um, before we take them out and feed them, why don't we check on the Burmese mountain tortoises next. These guys are doing really good as well. Um, they are just growing well, eating well. So much personality with these guys. When I come in, they come out and definitely check me out and see what's going on. I've noticed that whenever I turn off the lights in the evening, that these guys come out and explore their enclosure. So I wasn't really aware of that before, and I don't know if anyone else that owns these have noticed that, but just something interesting that I've seen early in the morning late in the evening is definitely when they're most active but even after I turn off all the lights so I thought that was pretty neat I'll often come back in here and check on things and they will be in their food dish eating you know at 9 or 10 p.m. at night so I thought that was pretty interesting today they're gonna be just eating some Missouri tortoise diet I uh, soaked it mashed it up and put it in this little bowl for them they really seem to enjoy that. I give this to them about once a week as well. So here are these guys side by side. I'm about to just get them out and let's give them some of this food and see if they want to chow down for us on camera. Okay, I've got the box turtle. They are just the cutest turtles. Look at that expression. Definitely checking things out. So observant. All right, one guy already grabbed some chicken and ran off underneath the cave. I know this looks like a lot of chicken, but they will actually eat this entire bowl, usually in one or two days. So I'm feeding them right now in the evening. It'll be gone by tomorrow night. They can really put it down. Let's see, you can see the guy in the back. He's coming back out for some more. They really love this stuff. And these might be the cutest animals to watch eat. If you think box turtles are cute, go ahead and like this video and subscribe right now to see more content like this and see these guys just munching away. Alright, while they're eating away, why don't we go ahead and get the 
Burmese mountain tortoises and see if they want to eat. Look, they're having a little scuffle. They do that sometimes, chase each other around, but even though there's plenty right here. All right, we got the box turtles feeding. Now let's see if the Burmese are interested in their dinner tonight. Sometimes they like to just walk right on top of it and find that perfect spot. I usually mix some fruit in with it, some banana. They really like that. They might be getting a little spoiled. But they seem to be eating this just fine. Thank you so much for watching today's video at Rose City Reptiles. I appreciate each and every one of you who watched the video, especially to those who subscribe and like. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now to just to see more content like this and what it takes to run a reptile collection of this size. Uh, I appreciate all of you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.